This video is going to discuss how you're going to gather your information for your teacher biography project. What I recommend doing is having your teacher's response email open in one window and then have Google Images open in another window. Just like your previous projects, you're going to be asked to share at least five facts and five pictures of your teacher or staff member. I will be getting pictures from the teachers, hopefully, but I want you to proceed on this project as if you don't have pictures from your teacher because you may or may not get some pictures. So start gathering pictures from Google so that if you don't get pictures from your teacher, you're not behind, you're prepared to continue. So the first thing I see, I have my information pulled up is um, I mentioned in my interview that I teach video production and photography. So the first picture I would want to pull up is one that represents video production or photography. So in Google Images, I'm just gonna search the word film and I'm gonna look, oh, I need to make sure I'm on images. There we go. And I'm gonna look for a picture I like that represents film. I'm gonna right click I'm going to save image as, and I'm just going to save it on my desktop, okay? Um, how long have you worked at Stoffer? 14 years. Um, maybe I would include that in the same title as the film picture. Describe your family. Now, hopefully, I would have a picture of my family, so I don't need to search for a picture of family, but let's say a teacher doesn't. I could easily just search the word family. I don't want to put a picture of strangers. Um, let's see, text. Maybe I can find the word family. So then I could choose one of these pictures to download and I could use that for my project. Um, what are your hobbies and interests? I love to watch TV and movies. So maybe I could search up the Netflix logo, save that one. And I talk about my college, Cal State Fullerton. So then I could save that one. But you see how I'm pulling the information from the email and I'm downloading pictures based on that. So what I would need to do then is take the pictures and put them in WeVideo. So if I sign into WeVideo, And again, you're going to sign in with your school email. You should be able to just kind of click through it or it might sign you right in. So I'm going to click on my school email and you would then click on media. And then you need to add media, which I'm going to have to move myself over. Why aren't you... Here we go. So now I'm going to browse to select and I saved all my pictures on my desktop. You may have saved them in your pictures album. You just have to find where you saved them. So now I have pictures from the internet that I can use if I did not get pictures from my teacher. Now on Wednesday, we're going to talk about if you did get pictures from your teacher, I will be sharing them with you and they will be saved in your Google Drive. So remember to access them or to get them in to WeVideo, you just click on import. Now you're gonna click on where it says drive. You're gonna find your teacher's name. Um, let's say you have Miss Clark you would then highlight the pictures that they shared and you would hit select and it will add the pictures from Google Drive to your WeVideo account. So now you just start piecing the project together just like you did with the celebrity biography, just like you did with the product review, add text, add pictures, add music, and you're good to go. So you will be okay if you have five facts and five pictures. Feel free to add more. And uh, let me know if you have any questions.